Hey, what's going on guys? I uh, got another bike for you today. This is a uh, 2021 Harley-Davidson Lowrider S. Uh, this is a bike I just purchased for myself. Uh, it's pretty gnarly. Um, just, to, just to touch over it real quick, it's got inverted, uh, inverted forks, 3-inch risers from the factory, 114 Milwaukee 8 motor, full-size fairing in the back, mid-controls, stage 1 air cleaner, dual discs in front, uh, this thing's gnarly. It looks like I lost my license plate. Oh well. Anyway, um, I'm just gonna get right to it. Show you guys what this thing is all about. It's bone stock. Uh, besides the get back whip and the phone holder, this thing is bone stock, including the pipes. Um, this is gonna be a short video. Show you guys what this thing is really all about. Uh, it's only got a thousand miles on it, so it's uh, it's just broken in. let the bike speak for itself. Yeah, she's a ripper for sure. I traded my Indian Roadmaster for it and I have uh, absolutely zero regrets about it. in no time. I am getting some Bassani 2 into 1 pipes, Harley Davidson tuner, so I don't violate their warranty. Um, one big gripe about this bike is it didn't come with cruise control from the factory, but I'm getting that put on at Harley Davidson. It costs a few hundred dollars, not too bad. I think it's worth it. It should have came, came with it from the factory. Um, Besides the pipes and the cruise control, next thing I'm going to do is the uh, the 131 motor upgrade puts it at 131 cubic inches. Some guys are getting 150 horsepower out of it. Uh, from the factory, this bike's got 100 horsepower, 119 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, it's a little heavy. Uh, you know, it's a Harley Davidson, it's a full-size soft tail. Um, but those uh. Those dual discs in front make all the difference. They really, really do. It's got, I think, 32 degrees of lean angle on each side. It's not too hard to touch the pegs. I just did it in that turn there. I've dragged them a few times at 80. It's scary the first time you do it, but then after that, you want to just keep doing it. You gotta be a little careful on this road. As you can see, we got the sun in our eyes. These are blind turns. But I know this road. We are uh, down in Tijuana right now. Yeah, if you're thinking about getting one of these, man, do it. 2020s are dope too. I was originally going to get a silver one, uh, 2020 silver one, but it got sold out from under me. So I had to pick up a uh, Vivid Black 2021. I'll tell you what, man, I don't even know what gear, man. I'm in fifth gear, and any gear, man, you pull it, it rips. It's not an R1, obviously, but uh, it's comfortable as hell. It rips. As you can see, we're flying down these fucking roads, and it loves every second of it. It does come with ABS from the factory. I'm not a fan of ABS, but you probably are. A lot of people are, not me. Yeah, so uh, what I'm gonna do to it is 131, uh, quick turn throttle, cut that throttle pull in half. Um, Bassani two into ones, and that ought to do it. I might get a bigger fairing, a Memphis Shades fairing. I looked at, uh, uh, another guy's low rider rest this weekend at OBX Bike Week. He had a uh, nine inch risers with a three inch pull, and it sounds like a lot, but it was pretty comfortable, honestly. Uh, I was really quite impressed with it. 
I'll give you guys another look at it before I cut this video off. Uh, yeah, man, this thing's got it where it counts. Um, I've never had so much fun on a cruiser before. Truly, I haven't. The dual discs make all the difference. Make all the difference. You know, you got good brakes, you get to go faster. It's just that simple. Um, as you can see, I've been riding this thing. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the little video. I'll see you guys next time. You'll probably be seeing more of this bike.